Anu, first of all, thank you so much for joining us here on Filmy Show Me today. Uh, it's wonderful to be in conversation with you regarding Shakuntala Devi. I mean, you're no stranger to Amazon Prime Video. I mean, you directed uh, the season one of Four More Shots, please. And now Shakuntala Devi will be showing on the platform. Um, obviously, rather than having a theatrical release because of COVID. Uh, so how was your sentiments about the digital release of Shakuntala Devi? I, I think it's a great opportunity because, you know, we are in unprecedented times and uh, people need entertainment. And it's such a great story for people to watch about a woman who lived life to the fullest, about a woman who lived on her terms. As we're all questioning, you know, our sort of identity, our place in the world, what's going to happen. So I, I think I think it's a. I think that this message is is right to reach the people in these times. Equally, I also think that it's a film. It's a film for the family. So usually on platforms, you know, the consumption is sort of individualistic. But this is a film that the families can sit together in the living room, get some popcorn and tissues, and you know, watch it together. So the cinema is coming into the living rooms with this film, um, and I feel good. I mean, I, I'm you know, I'm happy that I'm able to do that. Yes, no, definitely. But um, in what way do you think the audience, or the audiences rather, will receive the film differently uh, now that the film is obviously releasing on the digital uh, platform? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I, I mean, I think, you know, people just view, take things for what they are. Uh, you know, they, 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 you know, respond to content. Uh, uh, obviously, because, you know, when a film is for theatricals in India, it has a little bit of a different grammar because you're able to you want to reach a larger audience. You know, there are more songs because that's part of the, you know, marketing setup, uh, promo devices. But I think but that's what this is. This is giving that theatrical experience in your home. So I think people will view it like that. And, and because, uh, you know, Amazon has not come out with a lot of films. So this is not a, you know, an original, you know, small film. This is a theatrical film in sheer homes. And I think that's what is happening with, you know, multiple films now, as we know that, you know, it's going to be a while since we will all be able to enjoy theater, films in theater the way we knew it. Um, so I think people, I think attitudes shift given the circumstances. And I think people relate to the story the most. And it is a very entertaining story. It's a very inspiring story. There is drama, there's emotions, there's everything in it. So I just hope that people kind of enjoy um, the whole experience. No, definitely. And I think um, it's also interesting because, um, you know, with someone like Shakuntala Devi, who has a multi-dimensional personality um, and, uh, and has achieved so much in her uh, life journey, yeah. uh, it must have been quite difficult to encompass her entire life experience within just a few hours. How did you manage to sort of um, do that? Yeah, I mean, you don't try to do everything, first of all, because it's it's impossible. Uh, so it's not a thousand page biography or it's not a documentary. So what I think uh, one attempts to do is to capture the essence of this woman, her spirit, uh, her attitude towards life. And I think aspects that resonates with you most as a filmmaker and hope that, that it resonates with the audience too. So I think, and because uh, we've, we, you know, we kind of uh, met uh, her daughter, and we spent almost three years talking to her. That prism felt most powerful to me as as a filmmaker, uh, as a woman, as a mother, um, and as a daughter. So I think it has that mother and daughter angle to it, along with you know her key achievements in life, and and so I think that's that's what it is about. So it doesn't attempt to you know tick every box in her life. Right. Uh, so so I think there is, I mean. Eventually, also, it's a film, right? It's, yeah. It has to have a beginning, middle, and end. There is a climax. There's a payoff. Uh, you know, it has all those aspects. So you have to deliver onto all of them. So and be true to the, you know, true to her, true to her story, uh, and you know, maintain integrity. Don't compromise on things just, you know, for the heck of it. So I think we managed to kind of have a balance of it all. You get a sense of how she was larger than life, but also the sense that she was a human. She was a woman, mm. you know, uh, she also had her failings, her flaws. And that's what made her who she was. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Very well uh, said. And I think um, it is also important in life as well. Sometimes like when you have, uh, when you're looking at someone's life, rather, you can't, it's very difficult to sort of, bringing everything and, ev you know, 
anything about them because I guess, you know, a two hour sort of film is not enough. I think you'd probably need a series for that, you know, especially with someone like yeah. Sabrina Devi. Yeah. You know, so yes, I think, who live multiple lives, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, but I think one thing that I can definitely say is that no one could have imagined uh, any other actor other than Vidya Balan playing the okay. titular role. So I'm guessing she was probably the only actor you had in mind for the yes. titular role, right? Yes, always, only. <laughs> 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 so what was so what was that so what was it like I mean how did you approach Vidya I mean what was the process like of um getting her on board for the film uh we met her once we had done adequate research and we kind of knew the angle we wanted to take um we still even we hadn't even written a story or you know started the script uh, we met her saying that this is something we want to do and this is our approach. What do you think? Would this excite you? And she loved it. I mean, she loved the approach. Um, obviously, you know, she wanted to see the script and she had inputs in that. But I think what she loved was the fact that A, you know, what a woman. I mean, she was like, I, I only knew that she was a maths genius. That's all I knew. I didn't know she had so many dimensions to it. And B, I think what she really liked was that we were not just simply putting on a pedestal. It was not just a puff piece, as she called it. She liked that we were willing to go, you know, deeper, dig deeper. And she found that brave. And, and, and you know, she is brave. And she, she does, you know, she sinks her teeth into all the characters she plays. So obviously she, as an actor, it was exciting for her to, to get into, um, you know, the mind and body of this uh, amazing woman who was so much more than a maths genius. Yeah, no, exactly. And I think um, even in, in Vidya's career at the moment as well, we're seeing her do a lot of like independent, inhibited and free-spirited roles um, about women sort of um, being unapologetic about doing what they want to. And I think it's great we're seeing such stories yeah. as well. I mean, how do you yeah, feel about yeah, seeing this yeah. sort of trend um well not i don't want to say trend but this sort of style of films that are coming up now which sort of embrace womanhood for womanhood rather than bracketing it into a specific kind yeah absolutely i mean we don't have to always uh you know talk about women in the context of men so uh, you know you make a woman's story because you know of what she does not just because she's a woman so i mean chakundla devi didn't wake up every morning and said oh i'm a female mathematician oh i'm a female world traveler so i think you know she's just amazing because i don't think any other man or woman could calculate the way she did so she was famous for her work and not because she you know that qualifier the, till we kind of and i till we kind of start you know qualifying uh, you know, a person's achievement based on their gender, I think, you know, we need to keep telling me, we need to normalize it. Yeah. And and that's the attempt for, I think a lot of filmmakers, are, you know, especially women, women tell women's stories that comes out more because we're mm. just telling our stories. We are not telling women's stories. We're telling stories that resonate with us, that, you know, uh, are, are our experiences. And, and then we just tell it as it is. And um, so, yeah, so I think, uh, I, I think it's, it comes from there. And, and, I, and, and, you know, we keep saying, you know, female is not a genre. So, right. I mean, yeah. just it's a protagonist. The protagonist could be male, female, uh, you know, whatever. But I think we just need to just watch films for what they are rather yeah. than qualifying, uh, you know, <laughs> the gender. And, of course. and therefore, gender. you know, yeah. deciding if it's big enough or small enough. Yeah, um, definitely. So I, Your films seem to focus on the complexities of human relationships over prolonged geographical and tragic circumstances. I mean, be it uh, London, Paris, New York, or recently <laughs> waiting. Um, yeah. So what strikes a chord with you in such narratives? And how does that sort of translate into Shakuntala Devi's narrative? I, I think I feel that maybe I'm interested in um, characters and their sort of internal journeys. Um, and perhaps, you know, how they figure out their place in their world. Um, and so I, I think that's, so I, I, even for you, I mean, you just go and make stories, but then I guess, you know, once you have a you know, bit of a body of work, then you start seeing a pattern in your own work. And yeah. I think that's what fascinating, fascinating, fascinating for me, because I think I like characters figuring out something for themselves. Uh, so, and that's why even four more shots, which is 
you know, unabashed and all of that. Each character has a journey and finds yeah. her place in the world. Uh, in waiting, two people who are grieving find out, you know, make peace with the fact that, you know, what is most important is that they love their loved ones. And that's the only... So I think, I think that is something to find the human in the stories you know and I think I love the flaws the frails the vulnerabilities so even a genius I was most excited like for me it's so important that we don't stop at you know celebrating that she's a genius we all need to understand that even geniuses fail even geniuses are not 100 percent you know happy every moment of their life they have their stakes they also have to seek redemption and i think that's what is important because we tend to put people on a pedestal so if it is you know any historical figure and now for example why do we need to pull down statues is because we make heroes out of people <laughs> people you know they might be good at a particular thing but there are other things that they would not have been able to uh, be perfect as so whether it's you know <laughs> churchill or whether it's gandhi we have to see people as complex people right and and, and i think yeah, and especially for women you see then if unless we put them on a pedestal unless we put them in a box we don't know how to you know you have to respect them as a devi you have to respect them as this really you know that without respect we don't know how to appreciate them and mm -hmm. she didn't care you know she just did she was not waiting there to say, ma'am, you know, you're so, risky. she was on to her next adventure. And right. that, you know, that is something, you know, women have to do a lot more because we are always looking for validation more than men, because mm -hmm. till we get that sort of societal, you know, permission to achieve or to have ambition or whatever, we kind of feel like, okay, maybe, you know, I need to stop myself a bit. So I think of all of these things, I think all these themes somehow uh, find <laughs> find themselves in, in, in my work. Sure. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, and also, uh, I think, you know, I think before I let you go as well, having explored various shades and um, visual platforms as a filmmaker, what style of content would you like to explore next and why? I think I, I kind of, you know, let stories come to me um and, and as i said in anything that comes to be true to that form to push boundaries i also live in london so oh. you know i i i hope, yeah yeah so I, I i have been trying to get you know change how you know um our sort of the the british asian experiences are uh, you know shown on british television even shifting that because here as well we are underdogs right just like women are underdogs on the indian screen the british asian needle just doesn't go beyond you know <laughs> certain things and uh, so i think i think so I think I'm constantly, you know, pushing that because I just feel like, you know, changing the narrative about people so that we view them, you know, not just in these stereotypes or boxes that, you know, we have to, because if we, we can only understand a certain group who are not exactly like, you know, the way we perceive them to be. So mm -hmm. if the truth doesn't, if, if, the, if the narrative doesn't fit your perception, doesn't mean that you know, not the truth. And I think we have to start, you know, getting into that. So I think that's what I do. I mean, apart from that, I, I just love everything. I, I love murder mysteries. I mean, I've been like <laughs> trying wow. to write a murder mystery and I've been watching, you know, uh, Agatha, uh, the Miss Marple series, yeah. ITV series. And I, there's beauty there. <laughs> I mean, there's so much beauty there. I mean, and she was, you know, just Miss Marple's character as to how progressive she was and the kind of, you know, choices she made. So I think there is beauty everywhere. There's all kind of things. But you're the what you the way you view the world and the way you view the characters. I think that can come through through multiple genres. And I think mm. that's what we need constantly to see diverse characters mm. on screen, to see diverse views on screen. Uh, to not have, you know, so, like stereotypes and fixed notions about, uh, you know, how characters make choices or why they should, you know, they should just breathe because they are, not because they are, you know, a particular color, gender or uh, yeah. race. I think, I think definitely, like um, Personal History of David Copperfield is a pure example yeah. of, uh, is, I think, is it blind casting? I think it's wonderful to kind of um, sort of see that and I think I think it's happening but I think yeah change what I like in both I think it needs to yeah, I think we have to yeah that's it's a journey it's a journey you know you've got to keep like at it so I think the, even we like even as a woman 
you know, we ourselves are like, oh yeah, you know, actually that was not enough <laughs> what we were asking for. Why did we accept that? <laughs> I want this, that. And, you know, she was doing that. She did not yeah. even, she had no limitations. And that's what was so fascinating because in your journey as a, you know, female filmmaker, as a mother, and, you know, you're just juggling all of this and you have so many questions about yourself and you find the story of this woman mm. who did not have those, you know, questions in her mind and she she did never she did not question herself uh, based on what others you know thought she should or should not do to me that particular aspect was very you know aspiring and so that's what i felt that oh my god i just i just need to capture that and to me obviously this journey has freed me a lot mm -hmm. because I earlier, every time I used to feel like, oh, should I do, what do they expect me to do? I mean, as an Indian filmmaker in UK, I mean, do I need to, you know, I, I for me, for example, I grew up in India, so I don't have any identity issues. So sure. in my work, oh, I'm not going to, you know, I did not have to go to a school full of white kids. You know, my daughter might have to because she is going to, you know, she, her experiences will be different. So my take itself was so different that people would just she's saying oh so she's she's a bit like you know for an indian she's a bit too you know colorful or for an indian she's a bit flawed I'm like, oh, india. <laughs> yeah <laughs> because on on the on screen they always are earnest you know we are uh, you know we're like the underdogs or we are like of course terrorists so you know we're not we, we're not just full-fledged complex characters who are good and bad you know depending on <laughs> what the day is so mm. i think that's what it is fully realized characters that you know so for me here asian characters back home in india female characters and i think maybe that could be what you know i i work towards uh, right. when i write and i pitch oh wonderful and i think uh, it's so great uh, to see filmmakers like yourself who are aiming to push the boundaries uh, further and kind of uh, create more of a better way uh, for us British Asians and of course um, breaking stereotypes along the way so I uh, know wishing you all the very best for that and of course Shakuntala Devi as well I cannot wait uh, to see the film and I think we're all very much highly anticipating it so congratulations and all the very best thank, thank you. you so much thank you bye-bye thank you